Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome. We'll start my talk with a quote by Ernest Hemingway. There is no friend as loyal as a book. Book are like our fellow friend with no demand and complaint. They improve our knowledge, wisdom, and information, thus helping us in the current food crisis, including increases prices of basic food commodities and hunger worldwide due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian-Ukraine war have triggered the disruption of food supply chain. The disturbance has prompted me to reintroduce my book. The second print or the second edition is titled Agriculture Development Strategies, the Saudi Experience. Subtitle is the role of agriculture to enhance food security, alleviate poverty and promote economic growth. The government of Saudi Arabia have raised questions about the long-term prospects of food security, alleviating poverty and economic growth. The issue of scarcities of water, soaring food prices, population growth, high unemployment, environmental degradation, and the reduction in arable land, combined with the effect of urbanization, economic development, and security concern have led to measure from self-sufficiency to deflationary policy in wheat production. The book aims to show that there is no clear policy understanding of how deflationary policy impact at both the macro and the micro level. It proposed both theoretical framework and, and practical analysis of the use and the implementation of Agriculture Development Strategy, ADS, in Saudi Arabia. Furthermore, the book developed an intricate conceptual framework to understand the role of agriculture in achieving sustainable development in Saudi Arabia. The book also aims to inform the development of agriculture policy and strategy and suggest way that future policies and strategy can be most effectively formulated, for example, to enhance the role of agriculture by increasing economic welfare in areas such as income, employment, basic education, quality of life, health, and the preservation of natural resources. The finding of this book demonstrate the importance of the developing water optimization schemes, establishing a national research and information center using a new technological innovation and recognizing the need of agency for marketing of agriculture products and refer to government and private organization, corporate social responsibility, and of course, stakeholders' interest for the development of ADS. The book develop a conceptual framework that reveal that the heterogeneity in agro Climatic environment imply that no single ADS can be applied in all regions of Saudi Arabia in a uniform manner. It's also important to note that while ADS may seem useful today, it may not be useful tomorrow. Therefore, continuous awareness and monitoring is required to evaluate its effectiveness. Agriculture development strategies suggest that further study should be conducted on the 13 province of Saudi Arabia for the suitability of the agroclimatic environments. More research is required into e-government, training, distant learning, and supervision, 
extension services, seed suitability, and the compatibility of Arab, Muslim, Asian countries to Saudi Arabia. The book is oriented toward the interact development of agriculture development strategies in Saudi Arabia. It includes the formulation of strategies for the enhancement of food security, the alleviation of poverty, and the promotions of economic growth. It does not address the specific of ADS for each region or offer detail on each sector, namely food security alleviating poverty and promoting of economic growth. The book is available in all major outlet and can be ordered uh, online. And I would appreciate your uh, order. I would close by saying sustainable agriculture development strategy entails food security and strengthen country's national security. Wallah al-Muwafiq. Thank you for listening.